Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. Are you having a rough day? Deep divers, a hard day. Breathing in that good ass prana. Now it's a better one. So I'm gonna share with you how I go from really, really rough days to really pretty awesome days like that. Well, not like that, but like, <sighs> okay. Now, a lot of people write to me saying they are going through something right now. Certain times they haven't got a job, they're lost, they're confused. And I've been all of those. And what I will tell you is that it will get better. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> okay. The world feels like it's coming to an end. So the first thing I do to turn a rough day to a better one is to realize this too shall pass. Good news for you if you're having great times and bad news for you if you're having great times. Good news for you if you're having bad times and bad news for you if you're having bad times. What? Okay, you're on your honeymoon. So sorry, it's coming to an end soon. <gasps> but at least you had it. Good news for bad experiences. It won't last forever. Okay, so that's the beauty of life. Everything is a cycle. It's seasonal. And what I realize whenever I'm going through a rough day is that it's natural. It happens, but it's not going to last forever. You see, a lot of us, the reason why it feels like it's lasting forever is because we send all of our focus on whatever is happening. Like I realize along my early journey, I used to wake up, feel totally lost. And I thought the rest of my life is going to be like this. Now that I'm living in infinite abundance, I realized that back then it was just a phase, right? Moon cycles, look at the moon cycles. That's like your life right there. We go through cycles too, ups, downs, and even side, sideways, right? What's the second thing? I started to realize that thoughts, we have between 50,000 to 70,000 thoughts every single day, probably more if you're the cat down the road. Thoughts can be your best friend or they can become your worst enemy. Slow motion this side. So I often realize whenever I'm thinking a lot of negative thoughts, what makes them negative is that I'm judging my thoughts. Like, don't think this, it's negative. So what actually helped me to turn a really, really rough day into a better one is just to say, okay, it's just a thought. It's just a thought. It's not who I am. You don't have to believe everything that passes into your mind. The problem is when we are having a lot of rough days, we actually generate thoughts to justify our rough day. Therefore, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Slow motion this side. So how do we, how do we change this self-fulfilling prophecy? So what's helped me is to realize that if I'm having a really rough day, I'm not gonna find evidence for that in my thoughts. Like, you're terrible, Ralph, right? Now my day is even rougher. Okay, I'm gonna look for evidence that shows me otherwise, that shows me how I can turn this day around. For example, when I'm going through a really rough day, certain times a car breaks down and I'm just on the way to the beach, okay? I say I got through this before. 
what did I do? Play some good old reggae music, dancing in the car like that, and I felt pretty good, okay? Got some time to read a book for once. Happens when your car breaks down. The third thing to turn a rough day into a better one. Is that you out there? Waking up feeling totally isolated right now? Don't worry about it. I started to realize this. Situations which we find unbearable, hard, we might even label them negative. It's only because we don't want to accept this situation for what it is. We want to start changing it to be how we want it to be. It's a refusal to accept what is. So I've traveled to nearly every single continent on the planet. I've traveled to so many countries in the world. I've been in minus weathers and super hot weathers, right? I've been in the super cold and the super hot my whole life, right? I get it. When it's really cold, I don't say I want it to be hot. I just take it for what it is. When it's really hot, well, I'm just jumping <laughs> like that, <laughs> going into the ocean. I take it for what it is. Now, the problem is a lot of us, we find ourselves in predicaments and we don't want to accept it. We want to start changing it within our mind, but things don't change in your mind. They can only change through action. I started to realize this, that I'm going to accept whatever is taking place. Because I know if I'm spending a lot of energy trying to change it and not actually doing anything about it, I'm wasting my time. It happens when a lot of us start complaining about how bad our lives are. And it's good to complain. Like I always encourage people, complain, 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 and then, well, do something about it right use that energy for complaining to start seeing all of the opportunities around you to move exactly in the direction of where you want to be the fourth thing is to realize how you react to certain situations has the power to actually change the situations themselves like i realized when I was having rough days and it still happens from time to time, I'm not going to get mad at myself, right? I'm not going to get mad at the day either. The day didn't do anything. It's just how I also perceive, going back to the power of our thoughts, how I perceive this is also what's creating my reality. Perception can create your reality. So you've got to ask yourself, how am I even responding <laughs> to what is happening right now? Am I adding to the roughness or am I easing off it to make it a better day? Right. And that's what I always do. I know if someone does something to me, I don't like, I've got to start changing how I react. Right. Because your reaction to a situation has the power to change the situation itself. Now, seven day vegan challenge, number five, what's helped me along my journey is to realize this, that it's all connected. A lot of us, we are eating bad days from life forms who didn't want to be taken out like that. Ah! Don't worry about it, right? So I used to get a lot of rough days because I was unaware of the animal connection, right? And I used to eat a lot of animals, right? Now I don't. Been a vegan for 12 years. My life has changed. That's why I have a lot less rough days because I'm putting more life into me. I'm juicing up. I'm going green got the maca powder going, got the hemp seeds going, right? I am using food as medicine. 
I'm using food as a primary doctor to help myself become my greatest version. Now, go back 12 years ago, I used to eat foods that would amplify my roughness, right? If I was feeling really greasy, I would eat greasy foods, right? If I was feeling like really bitter, I would eat a lot of salt, right? Now I'm eating a lot of mangoes and things like that. So when you are experiencing experiencing a rough time, it might be happening to you right now. This is the time when you want to actually take extra good care of yourself, even more when it comes to nutrition. What's helped me along my journey is intermittent fasting because the body is always in the process of assimilating food into the bloodstream and it's a lot of work. So once a week, I don't eat. Okay, I eat very little, if anything, just juices. And that gives my body enough time to detox, flush all the toxins out, and my day becomes a lot better. Number six, do you really think because you fell down, that defines who you are, you can get right back up? Right, <laughs> rough days, this is what's helped me along my journey. Rough days don't define me. The reason why I used to have a lot of rough days is because I actually thought rough days did define me. I used to think that I am my rough days. They don't define you. They aren't you. They are experiences which you can learn from. Slow motion this side. Mm. Everyone on planet Earth has had a rough day, but check this out. If two people have an experience which is very similar. Let's just say someone shouts at them. Okay. Before, both of them might have said, I'm having a rough day. Now, if the other person realizes inner growth creates and can change your reality, they may not see it as a rough day because they are now an alchemist. True alchemy is making the best out of the worst and not allowing external events to govern your internal condition. So become an alchemist and realize you can always rise past that to make it a better one. Number seven is when I'm going through a rough patch, things breaking down in front of me, tornadoes and tsunamis, things like that, the usual right? I'm realizing that I got to be fortunate of what I have. A lot of the times we experience a lot of roughness when we, when we crave something that we don't have. That feeling of lack is why so many of us feel inadequate. I want this, I want that, makes you forget what you already have. So, I always focus on gratitude. I am so thankful right now because every single day I am pretty much living the dream life. Okay, I know what I used to do back in the day. Every day was a struggle, right? But now I'm focusing on all I have to say I've come so far, right? And that's the mindset that has helped me turn any rough day to a better one every day is different. You got to remind yourself that. Number eight, it happens to us like this. When we are going through a rough, rough, rough day, we want to blame ourselves for it. Like, it's my fault. We turn in on ourselves. Once again, thoughts can become your greatest friend or your worst enemy. Literally, thoughts can destroy you or thoughts can make you blossom to beautiful heights, right? I started to realize this, that I'm not gonna blame myself anymore. I'm not gonna talk down on myself anymore because it's not gonna do anything. It doesn't change anything except amplify your rough day. 
So I'm going to actually start encouraging myself, start supporting myself even more on the rough days. Get some cheerleaders. Actually, be your own cheerleader today. Let's go. Let's do it. Now you're feeling better right now, right? So that's really what's helped me along my journey to stop blaming myself for experiences that happen to me, right? Once you stop blaming yourself for experiences that happen to you, you can actually grow from them, right? You can actually grow even more. Number nine, what's helped me in a major way is to realize I used to always handle everything by myself. I've got this. I've got this. I can do this. I can do this. No, I need help. We all do. Everyone needs someone else, right? We've we've adopted this independent mindset on the planet that we can do everything. And that's why a lot of us are having really rough days because we think like asking for help is a sign of weakness. Infinite Waters, I've had a lot of people who have shared my videos. That's why it's just growing and growing, right? A lot of people have helped me out. And there are so many beautiful deep divers. I'm helping out, right? It's a two-way street. Don't be afraid to surround yourself with people who are good for your mind, body, and spirit. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Don't think you have to go through this rough day all alone there are people who are going through the exact same thing. And when you come together, you start sharing experiences. In essence, you start helping each other out. Number 10, just believe good things are on the way. Now, what's helped me is to realize, hey, that's really hard. Okay, when you're going through a crisis, Ralph. Oh, just believe good things are on the way. Like, that's really going to help. Well, it does. Why? because it changes your focus. If you have no optimism, you think, oh my gosh, this is the worst and it's only going to be the worst. Your focus is directed towards that. Therefore, you start creating more of that in your reality. If you change your focus and start realizing that good things are on the way, your whole behavior starts to change your whole demeanor starts to change therefore you start attracting everything you need in your reality slow motion this side and then you can get a plan of action you can say okay what's the next step i'm gonna take right and then start acting upon it right And what's number 11? What's helped me out along my journey is to laugh at myself. (laughs) No, really laugh at yourself. Like, (laughs) oh my gosh, oh my God. I can't believe I'm taking myself so seriously every single day. Your rough day is linked to your seriousness level on the planet because the more serious you are, it's great to be serious. But if it doesn't go your way, You're going to be like that glass that just shatters glass everywhere. If you're like a feather, you just take it very light, very humorous. Then even if you're having a rough day, you can kind of laugh it off. You produce all of these beautiful endorphins and then you feel a lot better. And now you are having a better day already. And then you just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello? We're out here in nature. Have a beautiful day. Getting high. Whatever you're going through, it won't last forever. (gasps) That's good news and bad news. Have a beautiful day. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. You!